Okay, so what I want to show you guys tonight is uh, some uh, library I've been working on um, called Nenetics for um, doing just some genetic algorithm stuff in C Sharp. Uh, so this is just an example program I put it up. Um, it starts off uh, by setting some constants. So we start out with the chance to mutate, which is um, uh, one uh, three one thousand of a percent chance, which is about what we see in nature. Uh, we're only starting out with a population size of 100. We're going to be running it over 350 generations. Um, the minimum fitness, that is, how close does a genotype have to be to another genotype in order to make it, is 0.4. Um, the promiscuity index is 3. That is, how many, how many genotypes can um, a single genotype mate with in a generation? And we're working with a genome size of 1,600. That means 1,600 genes. And genes in this context is just a bit. These are 0 or 1. Uh, the last run is just a folder where we're going to have some output. Uh, so the first thing we do is uh, we get our targets. Uh, basically, this is an artificial selection um, run. So we're going to be uh, trying, we're starting with a random and going to try to generate this image, just an in for nanetics. Um, so I have that sitting in the directory, so here we go. Uh, so we get that target up um, and we write into this. Our fitness test is going to be just checking for genome similarity to the target. Okay, so like I said, we create a random population and um, we go ahead and save out our target. Then this is an artificial selection run. So we have an artificial selection civilization where we pass in all of our our constants, and then we just process. That's where actually where the magic happens. It just goes out and does it. Then we just go ahead and, and write out the results so um, we can kind of see what happens. So I'm going to pull it up here, and this is going to be here we go. So press enter and it's starting. You can see it's already going through the generation. So we're starting out. Um, it was about a 50% match to start out with, and we can see just how fast this is going up. So this is showing us the best match to our image. Now there are some results you saw of 0.38. Um, so there was one generation where the best match was really low for some reason, but then it jumped right back up, and now we're seeing 85, 86. Um, you can see as it goes along. We're just slowly incrementing. Sometimes it'll be kind of stuck at the same value a little bit. Um, but it's continuing to increase, continuing to increase. Um, so like I said, we're running through 350 generations. Um, this is going to chew through that actually pretty fast. Um, so we're almost there. Um, you can see we're sitting at 87, 875. Um, not too bad, really. Um, 876. There we go. So it's writing um, out the results so we can go in and see it, and then it's done. So return. And let's go in and just see the results. So all of the images are saved in the last run here. So we'll open up. And what we're going to see here is a bunch of files. Uh, the first number in the file is the generation number, so 0, 1, 2, 3. And then the other number here is going to be the best thing. So um, as we scroll down here, we should start to see a N emerge if it's all working right. You can see already by, oh, let's see here, maybe generation 20 or maybe 21, you can start to see a really good outline of the N. And as we scroll down, it pretty quickly really starts to emerge. You see it's 58, um, and it's quite clear. And then as we scroll down here, it gets closer and closer and closer all the way down to uh, 350, which at this point, I mean, it's not perfect. Uh, I'll go ahead and open it up and zoom in here. Uh, it's definitely not perfect, um, but that's a lot of progress from where it started with, where the best match was that. There's no sign of it in there. Uh, we just selected for it over the 350 generations and uh, got pretty close. So that's uh, just a sample run of, of what I can do so far. We'll definitely be working on a lot more, um, but I'm excited to see these results and wanted to go ahead and uh, share them out. I hope you found them as interesting as I did. Thank you for watching.